Welcome to Computex 2025, where tech giants are unveiling the future. Join us as we tour the booths of Packatron, Schneider Electric, Chembro, Apacer, and Biostar. We are now at Packatron's booth, where they are showcasing their vision as a tech maker. From AI server to next-gen e-cockpits, Packatron is pushing boundaries in telecom, mobility, and consumer tech. Here with me is Oscar Chen, the engineer of Packatron's Pegaverse. Hello, Oscar. Welcome. Okay, now we're at Pegaverse, so now we know it is very impressive. So how does it leverage a media's Omniverse to work close? Okay, this year we apply an Omniverse and a digital twin technique with the most advanced AI technique in our product, Pegaverse. It is a system all on-premises and is a practical AI factory solution we are using in our factory. Our Pegaverse, including the robotic system and the AI agent and all, all of the advanced AI model. The, in the universe, we can simulate the real-world physics, let the AI to guide human and the robotic system in the simulation of virtual environment, and then they can modify their setting configuration automatically, so that we don't need human to set in the, the parameters. The AI can guide human in the, in the virtual environment, and they can re practice repeatedly in the virtual environment until they know how to complete a task. For telecommunications, Pegatron is really making advancement. Here is me, it's Alan Xu, Senior Product Manager. Hello, Alan. Hi. Uh, we would like to know the product, the story behind Packatron. So for the consumer tech, what's the story behind it? Uh, this is Wi-Fi 7, or latest Wi-Fi 7 model B19000. It supports a brand new 6 GHz bandwidth uh, radio, and also the maximum bandwidth with 320 MHz bandwidth. Unlike Wi-Fi 6, you have to choose one radio at a time. But for our Wi-Fi 7, you don't have to do so. You just choose a multi-link operation, which means you can use all of them together. So welcome to Packatron and feel the difference. Thank you. For electronic mobility, here with me is Michael Yeh, Senior Director. Hello, Michael. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Michael, we would like to know more about e-mobility. So this year, we see Packatron is really a game changer. So what makes you so unique this year? Uh, yes, uh, for this year, uh, we prepared three major concepts to present in the uh, Computex 2025. So the first one will be the scalable central compute unit, which is able to partially update each module, include the uh, high-performance computing for ADAS. The second one will be the IVI for copy power driving. The third one will be central gateway to connect the overall vehicle architecture. And the second one, as you can see behind, this is the immersive carpet experience area. So visitors can come here and experience not only the vision, but also acoustics. At the end of the, the that one, there's a technology wall, which is a Pegatron view based on the overall EA architecture. And we embedded most of the Pegatron solution, which is able to present our customers and the visitors. Thank you. We're very thrilled to see GB300 at Packatron's booth this year. Here with me is Andy Lane, AI Product Marketing Manager. Hello, Andy. Hello. Andy, we would like to know how are you partnering with NVIDIA this year, especially with the GB300? Yeah, this uh, this year GB300 is uh, in the market very focused. So Packatron be uh, one of the ecosystem GB300 partner. We designed with uh, NVIDIA to have a fully liquid cooling solution on GP300 and then we have ability to do the system integrator, full rack system integrator to from our design to finally in the factory shipment, Pegatron to do the total solution and then target to the AI factory solution. At Schneider Electric, here with me is Ivy Singh, Vice President, Secure Power East Asia and Japan. Hello Ivy. Hello, hi. Ivy, as we know, Schneider provides end-to-end -end AI-ready data center solutions worldwide. And especially, we see different needs in the market, especially in East Asia. Do you see the different trends this year? Yeah, so we see that in East Asia, there's an AI data center booming in the market because uh, for AI data center, it really makes uh, the data center operator to rethink how they design the data center. Because if you look at the power density, you look at the cooling needs, it's all different. Last time in a traditional data center, one rack is uh, make up probably 10 to 20 kilowatt. But now with NVIDIA chips, uh, it could be up to 100 kilowatt. And we saw in the roadmap, it's kind of up to one megawatt, right? So this trend really shape uh, how the industry evolved with the technology. Okay, so do you see any difference in 
cooling system, especially acquiring Motif Air this year? Yes. So in Schneider, we actually acquired a majority of stake uh, uh, in 2025 uh, Q1. So uh, Motif Air actually is uh, a major key player in U.S. market and in worldwide for the high capacity chiller and the liquid cooling solution. And for us, if you look at, uh, just now I mentioned about the power density of the racks, traditional air-cooled uh, cooling solution will not be enough. So we have to use the liquid cooling. So with the Motivair joining Schneider team, Schneider family, we're seeing that we can provide end-to-end -end solution and uh, really meet the demand from the traditional data center all the way to the most demanding GPU clusters. Shinada Electric provides end-to-end -end solution to data center, what we call from grid to chips to chips to chillers. So that means we cover end-to-end -end all the way from the power grid to the processor and to the processor out to the cooling chiller. So what you see from here is our Galaxy VXL, our most uh, compact UPS is up to 1250 kilowatt. And if you look at this two, is our one is the Rex. Uh, this one actually is approved by NVIDIA. And the other one is uh, our second generation NetShell Rex. And here, which is our star product or Multivare CDU, uh, MCDU25. Here we have another Multivest CDU, MCDU4U, which is a RAC CDU. At Computex 2025, Chambro is showcasing their expertise in AI servers. Here with me is Rambo Zhang, Senior Vice President, Global R&D and Product Development. Hello, Rambo. Hello, welcome to Chambro booth. And uh, we are excited to introduce Chambro, the major three business model this time, and uh, we have the OTH, JGM, and the OEM. We're at Chambro's JDM model, actually the MSI's co-design. So Rambo, would you like to tell us how do you collaborate with your client to make a customized server? Sure, and uh, I'd like to introduce one very successful chassis solution. We uh, co-developed with uh, WinWin, our uh, very close partner here, and uh, this uh, solution, there's a, there's a family, there's a three skill, and uh, we develop with them together. And start from the computing, and uh, also extend to the storage and the AI application. And the beauty for this product is we leverage a lot of the uh, off-the-shelf module from our OTS. That's, that's the reason we can provide this solution and provide it to customer quickly. So we balance the performance and the compatibility and time to market to realize the mid to customer demands. This is NVIDIA's MGX platform co-designed with Chambro. So could you tell us, uh, Rambo, what's the uniqueness and why it is very unique in the market to make the solutions for customers? I'm very excited to uh, introduce MGS platform. This is uh, we are the leading AI solution provider and uh, with uh, NVIDIA. And uh, in the past, uh, we have the uh, CPU centric. Uh, that's quite popular in the market. And uh, this one is uh, GPU centric. I like to introduce how this one become a popular AI solution. It has a lot of modular design here, and uh, you can see there is a short bay, long bay, and uh, we provide from the one U and the. Uh, for your solution. This will provide a very uh, rich AI application to our customer. I hope Chambro solution power your AI solution. We know Chambro's global manufacturing strategy is a big focus. So how does lean intelligent manufacturing benefit customers? In order to support the customer the GDM, the OTS product development, and uh, uh, we also have the global manufacturing footprint and uh, uh, also supported by the LCIM, we call the Lean uh, Intelligent Manufacturing, and we also have the rapid tooling development process. We have the continuous product management system in order to give a customer the high quality, uh, supporting from the design to manufacturing. Also, we can provide the long life cycle and the reliable uh, product supporting and the manufacturing. And uh, we are looking forward uh, customer to work with us together for the uh, next generation product development. We're at a Pacer's booth where storage and management solutions take center stage. Here with me is Gibson Chen, president of a Pacer. Hello, Gibson. Hi, uh, my name is Gibson. And we are in a Pacer booth at Computex. Gibson, your Raspberry Pi SSDs is really exciting. So yeah. what industries are adopting these? First of all, I would like to introduce 
What is Raspberry Pi's applications? Raspberry Pi has been used for a variety of applications, such as AIoT, uh, as a drone, smart home, all the application who need a very, very small size, low powers. For APACER's product this year, we work with the uh, Raspberry Pi Gen 5. We add up, we call Raspberry Pi Hat, which is has some special features with the power loss protection, with a core snapshot, which we unique to have, and some other features. So you can stop by and take a look at our Raspberry Pi series of products. Corival 2 focuses on stability and efficiency. How does it support AI applications? Hi, our Corval 2 is our new features, which is support the power instability caused by the train, truck, or bus because the engine starts, so the power suddenly drops. Our internal capacitor will compensate this kind of instability of the cold voltage and uh, also record this kind of instability into our smart features. So customers can recognize how many instability that happens in the systems. So you can see from our systems, this is our oscilloscope. That shows the power instability from the top line. When the system uh, into our Covo 2, all the signal will be very flat after our Covo 2 design. So make the systems quite stable. That's our Covo 2 for some mobile system. Thank you very much. We're at Biostar, where AGI is the star. Here with me is Leo Liu, Sales Director of Smart Edge Computing Sales Department. Hello, Leo. Hello, welcome to Biostar Boost. Okay, Leo, we see Biostar now have edge computing. So what do we want to show to our customers and what's the trend this year? And uh, in the past 40 years, Biostar is very famous in consumer and uh, commercial motherboard. But actually, we have 20 more years in the ITC, industrial motherboard, ODM and OEM. And uh, we have a uh, well-known the international manufacturer as a customer in this year. In computers, we announce our HCAM series, include the motherboard and the system. So we help the older customer to deploy the AI solution rapidly. With AI on the rise, and we see a lot of applications in the market, especially the new trend. So how do Biostar stay competitive to help our customers, especially for AI innovation? Biostar uh, co-work with the NPU provider, for example, the Deep Edge and the Mary S and the NVIDIA Jason Oreo. So we uh, help uh, the customer to deploy the AI via our edge computing and uh, our the NPU, the module. So integrate, we will implement the AI solution. In other words, we have uh, the software partner and the system integrated customer to help the, in the smart retail and the smart manufacturer and the smart city in this application. So that's the future of AI. Thank you, Leo. Yeah. That's a wrap up of Computex 2025 this year. Thank you for joining us, the Boost Europe. For more information, please stay tuned. This is Victoria. Until then, goodbye.